Trung is about to get paid. And look at this, he's gonna hit him with a min check raise. That should drive Stacy. I was gonna say drive him out, not drive him in. You have it, you have it. Oh. He does have a key. Yeah. Oh, Vince. Well, he's gone all in. A quick oh. Call. Well, a young professional that I've encountered on the table at a number of our events. Very methodical guy. Said he's been studying these final table situations leading up to today, so he is well prepared going up to 90,000. He has raised, and Stacy Jones going out. And Craig Varnell says he doesn't study poker. He just plays poker by feel. And he's feeling this. He's going to make this call. Now, the contrast of styles as we go to this flop between the two chip leaders at our final table. And it is a much better flop for Will holding the club flush draw. Yes, indeed. Our chip leader coming out with a continuation bet with the four flush of 80,000. And that is gonna do it. So, Will Berry grew up in Norman, Oklahoma, now lives in Oklahoma City, taking down pot number one here tonight. There we go. Right back on Will. He's playing poker full time for the last five years, he says. He's going to quickly fold this. Stacy Jones also going out. Now, Craig Varnell appears he likes his ace four. Raise. This is kind of a loose raise from Craig, but with the chip leader out and the players behind him likely to play a little tight early in the final table, I don't mind this adjustment. But Trung in the small blind here, it's going to make the call with ace queen. Yeah, Trung is interesting. He's only been playing poker for two years, lives in Houston, Texas. And he's got ace queen over Craig's ace four. He would go with the flop. It is a jack seven deuce all spades. Not much for either player here. These monotone flops are usually played rather passively. Trung, his hands a little bit underrepresented by just calling pre-flop. He's going to lead out here for the min bet. Hmm, not sure what I think of this play, but it's gonna work. Craig, with nowhere to go, just drops his ace four, and Trung will take down that pot. Yes, there's his rail. Family and friends rooting him on. Used to manage the family business. That was a salon. And now he's playing a lot of poker. Well, a couple of years into his career and already at his first WPT final table. Very encouraging for his future as a card player. But that king ain't suited. Right. Seems like a hand that deserves an open on the cutoff. He'll drop it out, and Nick will raise 9-7 offsuit on the button. And Nick Papillo says he's very superstitious. He's been wearing that scarf the whole week. Is that a scarf or a towel? Will folds. Stacy Jones, look at this. He is the club owner out of Odesso, and he picks up Queens. Stacy with an option here between moving all in for his 20-something blinds or making a smaller raise and hoping to induce Nick to put the money in. So he'll pump it up to 270,000. Stacy, the club owner's gonna take down the pot. And there's the chip leader, Will Berry. He goes out. And now the club owner from Texas, Stacy Jones. He has ace eight of hearts. And he will move it up to 115. Craig Folds, put around to Austin. He's gonna go away as well. And now Trung with an attractive ace 10. And Trung could call or just move in on Stacy here. Either play would be profitable. Kind of depends on his style and what he thinks of Stacy. We'll start by calling. Just gonna call. So Stacy Jones, the club owner. Been playing poker since he's 17. Involved here. Flop is a jack. 7-3 helps neither player. Trung's gonna check. Neither player hits this flop. 150. But they both have some backdoor draws that could create interesting spots on the turn. So Stacy's gonna bet 150,000. And Trung, he's gonna continue with a check raise here. Ooh, this is interesting. And I think I really like it, Vince, because this locks up Stacy with his 20 something big blind stack and forces him to decide if he wants to move all in or just go out with 
a hand that's gonna have a decent amount of equity. Yeah, Stacy on the short stack. And he's gonna sing, I'm out right now, as he folds the hand to Trung. Good strong move by Trung Fam, who's only been playing poker a couple years. Lives in Houston, Texas. Says he learned a lot from David the Dragon Fam. And we'll go right back at him. Will Berry now with a pair of sevens. Makes it 110 to go. Stacy looks down at a queen jack. He'll take a rest. Craig Vanell also out. And now Austin Lewis, here he is again. He's got the big ace king. Austin's not a professional poker player. He is a finance guy. 340. For a living, but a lot of those finance types enjoy playing poker and tend to think about the game pretty well. So Austin, he's gonna make this three bet here to 340,000. Will, with a pair of sevens, will make the call out of position. So heads up between these two. Austin's a family man married with children. Says he only plays poker once every few months. And now he's at the final table, and he's going to catch kings here as a king-queen four appear. And a nice flop for Austin's ace-king here, but also a board that should keep Will out of trouble. I'd be surprised if he wants to continue facing another bet from Austin on this texture. 300. Austin not going to play any games. He makes it 300. WPT earnings of guess what? How much? For Austin? Yeah. Probably a small figure for a guy who doesn't play very much. What's the number? Zero. Zero. Not after today. All right, we are just getting started here at Esports Arena in Las Vegas. Six players battling for the championship. We're coming back for more on the World Cup. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT25 and get a $1,200 deposit bonus. Six players remain. The blinds are 25 and 50. And we are going down to the felt. Austin Lewis will look down at a queen, 10 of spades. Pretty good hand. He'll make it 125 to go. Into Trung. He's going to quickly fold. Nick goes out. And now our chip leader, Will. Oh, Will has caught the big hand. Ace king. All of the spades out. Trung folded two spades, Austin holding two spades, Will with the ace of spades. He's gonna three bet this to 380. And I think in most contexts, Austin would call preflop, but with Stacy short and Austin on one of the middle stacks, he might be more cautious than usual. Let's see what he does. I've never met a guy from the stock market that was a bad poker player. It's very rare. These guys spend their lives betting on numbers. Mm -hmm. It's not that surprising. They'd be talented at betting on cards. They can make some moves. They're usually quite good, and he is. All right. Down to the felt again, Trung with a quick fold. Nick now picking up a pair of sixes. As far as I'm concerned, Vince, finance is just a fancy word for gambling. <laughs> That's right. Nick's made it 125. And the bill will go out. And the cowboy also going out. And Craig with a little pair of fours here. So he will make the call. Austin with 10-8 will join the party. Splash around. And we will see the flop. Three players go into this flop, and it is ace, five, deuce, two clubs. Decent board for Nick's sixes. He's the only player holding a club. And he's going to start with a small bet here to the tune of 150. And Craig with a gut shot and a pair. That's a little too much hand to fold. Austin gets out of the way. So heads up going to the turn. And the ace of clubs should slow down the action here. Not the card either player wanted to see. So a quick check, check. And a king of diamonds again. Something of an action killer on the river. 
Nick is going to check and hope Craig has a five, but he actually has just a little worse. Nick Papillo, gonna take that one down. He's got career WPT earnings of 108,000, but he has 2.5 in overall career earnings. Oh yeah, Nick's a grinder. He puts in the time on the circuit. He just loves to play the game of poker. Action's back on Craig. Not happening. Yeah, quick roll by him. Austin also going out. Trung not even thinking about it. Nick with the king queen of spades. We've determined that his scarf is actually a t-shirt. Right behind him, Will finds ace jack. One of those hands you can mix between three betting and calling in these situations. I think if I'm Will with the chip lead and Stacy being short, I want to lean towards three betting, but he's going to make this call. And Stacy in the big blind, going to throw on his shades, toss in a 100K chip, and we will have a three-way flop. All right, and the flop is a 5-3 deuce, two clubs. Pretty good flop for Will Berry. Two over cards, the ace of clubs, gut shot to the four, and it is the four of clubs Whoa. that materializes. So both Will and Stacy with a straight, Will with the nut outs to an ace high flush, and even Stacy could win the entire pot if he catches a six that is not a club. Yeah, Stacy's betting his straight right now. Probably thinks he's in front, little does he know. He's got the same hand and drawing worse than Will. All in. Oh, he's just gonna go all in, interesting. Stacy making this call. They turn him up. Right. They got a free row. This has turned out very well for Will. As you can see, Stacy has a small chance of winning the entire pot, catching one of those three clean sixes to give him the seven high straight. But if Will catches a club and there's nine remaining, it's over for Stacy. Black six. <laughs> Black six is fair. Uh, Black, okay. All right, we'll go. Well, it, it would have to be, look like a shove. It looks like a shove. Yeah, 50 50 on that. Stacy Jones could be his last bull ride. And he's going to chop this up. He's going to stick around with a seven hitting the board. Nice. Son. He survives. Put the hate on me, bro. But I expect it. Didn't seem too worried. Fist bumps all around. Play online poker for real cash and prizes at WPT Global. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT25 and get a $1,200 deposit bonus. Ace three of spades. Highly superstitious man will make the raise to 130. Our chip leader will. Can't play that mess. And now our cowboy club owner, Stacy, gets off the horse. And Craig Varnell with money in there with a three deuce We'll splash around. So there you go, ace three versus three deuce. Flops an ace nine five, two diamonds. Great flop for Nick. Not a bad one for Craig with four outs to the nuts. I guess a four of diamonds wouldn't give him the nuts, but three outs to the nuts and one more to a very strong hand. So he'll make the call for 110,000. Yep, and there's the Craig fans. Look at this, pictures everywhere. It's gotta be good to be Craig right now. Crowd <laughs> even has the Broncos hats going. I That's know. solidarity. Craig gets a little piece of that with the deuces. They go check, check, and ace on the river. Beautiful for Nick. Craig checks over to Nick who with trip aces is gonna make a value bet to 325 and Craig might be a little tempted to call here with his deuce wondering, well, would Nick really check that many aces on the turn? Is he gonna value bet a lot of worse pairs? I'm not so sure. So let's see what Craig does. Look at this, Craig cutting out a raise. Wow. He's going to 1.15 million. This is a interesting check raise. I guess he does block the straight and some full houses, but maybe this is a bit much. He's trying to make Nick fold a nine or a pair in between the nine and the ace. He's not putting Nick on an ace. We know Nick has an ace bad kicker. But it's gonna be called by Nick. 
And Craig is gonna hate himself in the morning. I see what he's going for there, Vince. I don't know that was the ideal hand to make that play with, but it wasn't a bad one. Craig's got to be kicking himself there, thinking he could muscle him out. Didn't happen. I think Craig was hoping that Nick was betting a nine or a pair in between the nine and the ace, and he could get one of those hands to fold, but tough to make your opponent fold trips on that texture. Ace 10 of hearts here by Stacy, our cowboy at the table. He's going to raise it up. Austin going out, and Trung Pham with a strong king jack of clubs. He's gonna make the call from the small blind against our short stack. Yeah, Nick won't play. So Stacy, the club owner, sings karaoke at his club, wants to get lucky, but a king for deuce. It's lucky for Trung, hits kings. Big flop here for Trung. 250. Stacy is betting way too big. King for deuce is a texture we want to bet probably 100% of the time, and we can use a really small bet to drive out a lot of hands. There's no reason to go this big. Trung is about to get paid. And look at this, he's gonna hit him with a min check raise. That should drive Stacy. I was gonna say drive him out, not drive him in. You have it, you have it. He does have a king. Oh, Vince. Well, he's gone all in. A quick oh. call, of course, by Trump. And we slicked every time. That's right, you got me. I had it all three, all three times. Right now looking for got a backdoor ace, ace. yeah. He's running. I fear it's going to be a three on the turn. Yeah. Or a five. <laughs> Let's do it. It's always going to be a sweat, so. Looking for that ace. Oh, he got the ace! Oh. Yeehaw! Whoa. That's hard for me to watch, Vince. Still not over. I feel sick for Trung. And it's a three of diamonds. So Trung is gonna double him up. Oh, wow. Well, that's the way you do it. You get it in bad and then outrun him on turn. Now Trung here with a pair of sixes. Trung's gonna make it 135 to go. Nick out. Will looks down at ace of five. He's gonna rest. Stacy also going out. Craig not gonna call, so Austin will be the only competitor here. Austin in the big blind with the jack three of hearts as just enough to make this call. And the flop is a jack 10 three. That's two pair there for Austin. Jacks and threes. Pretty good flop for Austin, but as I said earlier, you do need to be cautious on these monotone flops. Trung doesn't really have the best hand to bet here, but maybe he's hoping that one small stab will push Austin out in a pot where he really wants it to end right away. So 90,000 over to Austin holding two pair, and he will make the call. Yeah, neither player with a club in their hand. Turn cards a queen. So two pairs gonna check again. If I'm Trung, I'm really just trying to get to showdown here. I'd rather bluff with a club in my hand or an ace so I could block some of the stronger holdings that Austin could have, but he is gonna barrel here for 435,000, a big bet, Vince, and Austin not going anywhere with his two pair. No. Nope. Needs to be at least a little concerned that Trung has ace-king. River card, what will it be? It's a four. Great card there for Austin. Well, I think if you're Trung and you got here, you wanna empty the clip. I wouldn't fire the second without being willing to fire the third on a blank. He's gonna check it, and Austin, the financier, will take down this pot. Maybe a little steam from Trung there. He took that rough beat against Stacy. He just lost with his pocket sevens. So maybe just forcing the action a little there. There's the Austin rail supporting their man. He's a family man, he says any of the winnings he makes here at the final table, we're gonna go to his kid's tuition to college. It's a good place to put it. Back on Nick Papello. Look at this pair of queens he wakes up with. 
takes a 125. Blinds at this point are 25 and 50. Bunch of folds. Let's see if he gets action. Austin with an ace 10. But no. Austin in the small blind there. A little bit of a tight fold, but I can see not getting involved. And Trung in the big blind with king queen has the clear call. So heads up to this flop, and it is jack 10 for two hearts. Big flop for both players here. Well, open ended for Trung. Nick with the over pair. Puts in a bet of 120. Surprised he didn't bet a little bit bigger. Certainly nothing wrong with this sizing, but Trung kind of short right now, and Nick might want to play for stacks. Ooh, but not on that card. That nine of clubs is going to give Trung the nuts, and that's actually a decent looking card for Nick as it does give him an open ender. And he, of course, is not that concerned about King Queen when he's holding two of the Queens. So he might get in some trouble here, 300,000. Turn the nuts, guys betting into you after you checked. This is great. All in. And there's the all in, going for the punishment. It's an additional million to potentially be saved, but now the action clock is ticking away. He's gonna take a time chip out to give him an additional 30 seconds. Tough spot for Nick. Your hand could be good against Ace Jack or King Jack, and if you're behind, you're typically live. Here, he is up against the worst possible holding King Queen, and he does make this call. He is gonna do it. So Nick is drawing to two outs for a chop and sees the bad news, Trung holding the nut straight. Seven of hearts on the river. <laughs> Poor Nick with the Queens. A huge win here for Trung. That is a double up in a big way.